Hello my lovelies, welcome to my 31 days of Halloween nail art. This year's entire series is going to be a collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And for today's tutorial we are doing Cold Brown. Katie's video will be linked down below in my description box, so be sure to check out her video as well. But in the meantime, let's get started on today's design. For this design we're going to need Ugly Ducklings colour number 004 and Wildflowers Green Gel Paint. We're going to paint the entire nail with the green wildflowers colour and in the centre of it we're going to add some of the Ugly Duckling yellow. With a dry brush we're going to ombre the two colours together and when we're happy with the ombre we're going to cure it. Then with the use of black gel polish we're going to pat into the border of the entire nail, some of it, to darken the edges. Next we're going to add the steam from the cauldron. So use white gel polish to do this and place it from the middle of the nail heading up towards the cuticle. Before you cure it though you need to use some soapy water and grab the bubbles from it and place it into the wet gel paint. Then with the bubbles on the nail you can cure it. After you've cured it for a full minute you can wipe away the bubbles and you're left with indentations in the white gel polish. You can then add a no wipe top coat to the entire nail and this will seal in the ombre and the cauldron bubbles as well. Cure the top coat for a full minute and then we can start on the 3D cauldron. To sculpt it we need to use some black acrylic and place it at the base of the bubbles and start building it up into a semicircle making it look like it's surrounding or circumferencing the bubbles at the base of them. We can now add the rim of the cauldron by using some black acrylic and placing it at the point where the bubbles and the base of the cauldron meet. And then with the use of the tiniest black acrylic beads, you can place two little beads at the base of the cauldron and it's going to be its little feet. With all your acrylic work dry, you can start adding some highlights to this cauldron because being a black acrylic design, it makes it rather hard to see. So we're going to add some highlights to the rim and the side of the cauldron and in the center, we're going to add a pentagram. Wait for all your acrylic work to dry and then you can add a no wipe top coat to the cauldron and this nail will be ready for reveal. And here is my completed design for our theme of cauldron. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Also don't forget to head over to Katie's channel to check out her version of cauldron. I have linked her video down below in the description box so don't forget to head over there and check out her video as well. And that's it for today's tutorial. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow for our next episode of 31 days of Halloween. And in the meantime if you would like to watch another video Black Kitty here recommends this one for you. Well I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!